This is a tutorial for rtutor.ai, which enables you to chat with your data in natural languages. ChatGPT powered data chatbot. You can use it to analyze your data, run exploratory analysis, classifications, or clustering. You can also use it to learn R and as it provide help and explanation in dozens of languages. It has interactive charts and also generate reproducible reports. The rtutor.ai website is totally free. You can also use our tutor as an R package from your own laptop. The diamonds data sets using this as an example. We're going to load the data first. So browse the file and diamonds data. It asks you to whether you want to change type of data. So it typically works fine, but sometimes you have numbers that are coded for some categories. In this case, you want to switch that. In this case, everything seems fine. In this for them, a color was character, but if you want to, you can switch into factor. Later on, if you change your mind, you can always type, uh, click here, switch back. The first step I typically will recommend before you start analyzing data is run EDA, exploratory data analysis. If you click on the EDA tab, there's a lot of options here from basic summary data structure, a missing value plot, summaries generated by the summary tools package, the table one package that is widely used in the biomedical research community, distribution of categorical and numerical and data data generated using the data explorer package and the correlation matrix is also shown here. ggpairs function in the ggedit package is used to generate a lot of um, more detailed pairwise correlation. And finally, the EDA reports in here, in this case, we select the price, which is our target variable in here. And you can click on the EDA report, which will generate a very detailed report like this, um, which includes missing values, outliers, distributions, if it is skewed log transformation is done automatically, the categorical variables, heat maps, correlation matrix, scatter plots, and volume plot, stacked bar plot. If you click on the Data Explorer EDA report, it generates a comprehensive report like this. Very similar, but it's more detailed. You can look over this and learn about your data. Once you're done with that, uh, we'll come back to here and start analyzing our data. We'll start with data cleaning, then run some plots and, and static modeling. So the first step, so we will remove Remove this missing value first, but typically in the very first prompt, I tend to tell the chatbot what the data is about. This helps set the context of the data set. See, this data contains price and other characteristics of diamonds, and you don't need to do this every time. So the very first prompt, I would recommend you do that. And you start with a very simple thing, a very small thing. And you can see this is immediately done because originally we have 5,000 and now we have 4,800 left. So here I want to define a new column called PPC as price per carat. I want to print all the first uh, few rows. As you can see, I'm making small steps here at each step. I print out something as a feedback so I know that the things are done properly. Here I can see this column is new column is being created here. Obviously you can start analyzing the data. Also start very small. For example, I want to rank the cuts by popularity. So here I was given the most popular is ideal cut and then I make it more complex. For example, I want to rank the cuts by popularity in diamonds that are more than $10,000. This is built upon the last command. A few more lines of code. If you're new to R, you can ask, you walk me through this code and hit enter. And R tutor will give you line by line explanation of this code. And you can see this is subsetting, this is tabulation, sorting. If English is not your first language, you can obviously ask it in your own language. For example, uh, this is Chinese. I can type in that. I got explanations in Chinese. To start plot you know, I, again, I start very small, so I like plot the distribution of cut. This is give us a bar plot, ideal cut is most popular. And cut by clarity is our next request. Bar plot side by side, change it to stacked bar plot. And if you notice there's interactive button here, if you click on that, this chart will become interactive. This is a plotly chart. You can also over or you can zoom in to show the information. If you have a lot of other options here. Another option is using the Canvas Express. If you do this, chart will be become interactive 
native Canvas Express provides a rich functionality to exporting this and documenting all the analysis in a reproducible manner. Make sure you uncheck this before you go to the next step. So plot the distributional price. Uh, we have a histogram. Obviously, this is fairly skewed, but if you want, we can test normality of price. We got p-value is very small. If you want to uh, make sure you interpret this result correctly, you can ask Artur Singh what does this result mean. ChatGPT will look at this result and tell you this is the p-value and the test statistic. We can conclude the variable is, does not follow a normal distribution. Uh, this is helps if you are a new R programmer. You can progressively refine plus step by step. For example, here we want a scatter plot of uh, price versus care color coded by clarity. Change to log 10 scale for both x and y axes. This is a nice uh, linear trend you can see on the log scale. Then I don't like the grid lines. Let's remove that and also this font are very small. You can see this is the result, but it removed both x and y axes as it add lines for x and y axes. This is a nice clean figure. One last thing you can do is that you can resize this one that's in the graph x then will respond the aspect ratio of it and then you can copy this to powerpoint or or another app build a regression model of, of price based on all other variables except ppc show the summary of the model if you're not certain of as how to interpret this result um hey enter our tutor tells you step by step how to interpret the intercept uh, the coefficient the coefficient for carrot is 11372 that means a uh, one unit increase in carrot associated with the increase in price of $11,372, so which is correct. So how to interpret the p-value and r squared values and, and f statistics. Conclusion is that care, table, x cut, and clarity are important predictors. You can use this box to help you decide what your analysis you want to do. So for example, other than linear regression, you want to know alternative methods that can use to predicting price. Our tutor will tells you that there are decision trees, random forest, support vector machines, neural networks, uh, gradient boosting and all the other methods there you can consider it so they can decide what you want to do next so really you can use our tutor as a hands-on learning platform so next topic come back to here you can upload a second file in here we have some extra information about the data this is our first file which is a default the second file is here if you want to use this file uh, you can you have to specify by name the df2 i want to uh, create a scatter plot of depth versus y for for example, I want to plot y versus depth in df2. Typically, we want to upload this second file so that we can merge with the first file. To do that, you just ask it to merge df2 with df by the id column on ek matching rows. Uh, show the first few rows of the merged data. And as you can see, this is uh, the merged data file. So then you can go ahead and analyze this data. You can also use other languages to request analysis in here. Our tutor understand these languages you can analysis uh, come back here. Uh, obviously, you can also request it to explain the code. The result will come back in the uh, same language. And lastly, you can uh, revert back. You can select a chunk and go back to the code where it was. In our tutor, different chunk of code is run one by one after another. Before the code is run, a data a snapshot is taken and it was uh, stored so that you can revert back. For example, after step three, you build a model based on original data. You want to try to see if log transformation will change that. So you can switch back to number step three and you will have the same data before running step three you can start from there once you are done with the analysis uh, you can document the process by going to the report and the first thing you see is our markdown file you can click on that and keep a copy of the our markdown file you can also render a detailed reports with you can keep a copy of this finally you can use our tutor from our studio the first line you install our tutor as a R package secondly you can start the app follow the GitHub repository. There is detailed doc documentation there. I hope this R Tutor becomes a platform to help you analyze data, learn how to code.